Hi everybody, my name is Hannah. This is Pepper and Pine and I have a recipe to share with you today. We are making this tomato and red onion salad. It's from the book Recipes from Morocco by Sufu Publishing. This is a little bit older of a book, but I will link it down in the description box below so that you can find it if you want to recreate these recipes. I'm going to make the recipe a little bit smaller than what it says just because when we're trying out new recipes, we don't do the full recipe. And for this one, I'm only using two tomatoes, but the recipe calls for six. And we're going to be slicing them two different ways. One way, a lot of the seeds fall out, which you do want to de-seed these. And this other way, you can see how beautiful it is as you slice them. Now, I leave the seeds in when I'm making my salads with tomato. It just adds a little bit more moisture and I don't mind the seeds. Next, we're going to use half a red onion. Now this ended up being slightly too much. The recipe calls for one whole red onion with six tomatoes, so I think a little bit less would have been better. I'm going to add one to two tablespoons of olive oil to about a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. I'm also going to use one to two tablespoons of parsley. The recipe called for flat leaf parsley, but all I had on hand was some curly parsley, which I think has a stronger flavor. I'm using about twice as much garlic as what it calls for. We really love garlic in our family, and so it adds a really nice punch, but slightly strong flavor. Next, we're going to add about a quarter teaspoon of cumin. This ended up being too much and a quarter teaspoon of paprika, which ended up being just right. And to this, we're going to add some fresh ground pepper and some salt. Now I'm just going to mix this all up. Now we did add just a little bit too much cumin, but other than that, it was pretty amazing. Now it's time to dress that salad and all of the ingredients are going to be together in this bowl. We wanna mix it up and let everything kind of marinate for a little while. I found that the longer it has a chance to sit, the more the flavors get to kind of all meld together. It's really delicious. And you can either chill it or serve it at room temperature. Either way, this was a really delicious salad. I highly recommend it. I think it's a great side to any Moroccan dish or any dish that you'd like to make. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to check out some of our other cooking tutorials, you can tap on the screen right now. That link is also in the description box below. If you'd like to check out the main lesson block that this recipe goes along with, you can tap on the screen right now as well. That link is also in the description box below where you can find the blog post that accompanies this video. And if you'd like to see how we're homeschooling and what we're eating on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.